Hey guys, it is Tuesday, April 27th, and I have 15 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First thing is a uh, sale outside of eBay that I made. A viewer named Nancy reached out about this Pinocchio doll and these Disney plushes. Uh, I sold them all to her for $30 free shipping. Nancy, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like that stuff. All right, first eBay sale that we are shipping is in C42. This is a Charmin Build-A-Bear plush. Got this in that big eBay store buyout. Uh, that's something I sent out a best offer for for $13 plus shipping. Next is another thing I sent out a best offer for. This Sony camera control unit. I've had this for about a year. It's been a long time. I had three or four of these I got from a big um, like video buyout. So I don't have much into it. I sent out an offer for this uh, for $14 plus shipping and the watcher accepted. Next order is three Ohio Renaissance Festival mugs. Something I sent out offers for. Let's see, we've got two right here. One is from 2001. And another is a goblet from 1998. This one right here. I have a dollar into each of these. I got them at a garage sale. They sold for $18 plus shipping. And the buyer got another one too. They got this 1996 goblet for $10 plus shipping, so I will just combine them all in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. All right guys, every once in a while I like to show you how I pack certain items today. I'm gonna show you how I will pack all three of these Renaissance mugs. Starting with some packing paper. And I'm just gonna shove that right down in each of these and this will help to absorb any kind of impact that it might get. Just lessen the chance of it breaking. All right, next we're gonna do some bubble wrap. Shout out to American Bubble Boy. I switched to their bubble wrap like about a month ago and I really like it so far. It's good stuff and it's cheaper than the bubble wrap I was using and it gets here in two days, which is really nice. If you guys need bubble wrap, I'll put a link down below in the description for American Bubble Boy. All right, I got all three bubble wrapped, and if I just threw all these in a box, I'd say there's a 75% chance that they would make it there safely without breaking, but what I like to do is put each of these in a box and then put those boxes in another box. All right, we've got our three boxes, now I'm gonna find a box to fit all three of these. So the length of this box is pretty good, but as you can see there's a bunch of space up here. So I'm gonna take my resizing tool and score all of the edges right here and then cut up. And then this box will fold down, it'll make it smaller. All right, they're good to go. Next is a uh, filter for a caterpillar. Let's see. I think it's maybe this one. I know I moved some stuff around. Is this it? Oil filter uh, 1R0739. Yep. I got this from my guy Mike uh, and a big lot of stuff. So I've probably only got a few dollars into it. This one for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold some cards over here in A3. Neighbors making some noise. So I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. First is a set of two. It's Dinesh Patel and Riku, Rinku Singh. Sold a pair for $13.99 free shipping. I sold this Ron Acuna uh, Topps Project 70 card. I bought this from Topps when they released it, maybe like two, three months ago, something like that. I paid $20 for it. It sold for $69.99 free shipping. And same with this one right here, a Fernando Tatis uh, Topps Project 70. When they do these, they only sell them for like two days, and then they don't sell them anymore. Um, this one sold for $37.99 free shipping. And one more card I'm pulling is an Alex Verdugo autograph right here. It's a green parallel number to 99. That's sold for $39.99 free shipping. And a viewer named Hector bought that for his dad. Hector, thanks so much for the support. I hope your dad likes this card. Next is some ink and E42 right here. This is Canon uh, multi-pack of three. That's sold for $13.99 free shipping. Next is a lot of three books by Ann McCaffrey. Let's see, it's down here on the E5 shelf. Let's move this costume out of the way. I thought it was maybe these, but I don't think it is. Okay, I think I see them back there. I must have moved them. Okay, here they are. 
Three bucks all by Ian McCaffrey. I got a ton of sci-fi books at a garage sale last year, and I only had ten cents into each. Um, these I had listed for like ten dollars. Sent out a best offer of seven dollars plus shipping, and the watcher accepted. That watcher happened to be a viewer of the channel who says the whole family watches. So Lindsay, Brian, and Jaylen, thank you all so much for the support. Okay, next order has three items. First is a Starbucks mug up here in A2. It is this one right here. It's got a cool flower design. That sold for eleven dollars plus shipping. Next thing is a chipmunk, kind of like a plush. It's an old inventory kill that says C5, so I'm guessing it's gonna be either in here or in here. Yep, there it is. This is something I got at an estate sale, gosh, probably six, nine months ago. I only got about a dollar into it. That sold for $9 plus shipping. And the last thing they bought is right here. These are some vintage Delta Junior wings. I got a big box of these a while ago, and. I've just been selling them in lots of four, so let's pull four of these out. Those four sold for $11.99 for shipping. And all that stuff's going out to viewer named Sandy. Sandy, thank you so much for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next thing is a jersey. I actually just listed this yesterday. This is a Joey Bosa San Diego Chargers jersey. Uh, Nike on-field version, new with the tags, that sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Let's go ask your name, Randy, who has bought a lot for me in the past. Randy, thank you so much for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, last thing we're shipping out is a hat back here in F31. It is this CF trucker hat. I'm trying to remember what it stands for. Consolidated Freightways. That's what it is. This is part of that big hat buy I made that sold for $19.99 plus shipping, going out to your name, Juan. Juan, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like the hat. It's Wednesday morning, I have 22 eBay orders to ship out. First thing is some cards. I'm just gonna grab this whole box because I did some auctions for some lots. Okay, let's see, I did a lot of 1958 reds. Let's see, right here, total of 15 cards. Uh, that was an auction, they sold for 2250 plus shipping. And then another buyer got 1959. That is these right here. That's 30 cards. Those sold for $43 plus shipping. Then one buyer got three lots, um, 57, 60, and 61. Let's see, this should be 57 right here. I believe this is 60. Oh, no, wait, that's 61. Um, 60, I believe, is this one right here. All three of those lots are going to the same buyer for $62 plus shipping. Then I sold a lot of 11 cards from 1962, all reds. Those sold for $20 plus shipping. That same buyer got nine cards from 1965. Let's see, these right here. Those sold for $15 plus shipping. And they got one more lot, uh, 12 from 1966. These right here. Those sold for $20 plus shipping. Those last three lots of cards are going to that viewer named Richard. Richard, thanks so much, man. Hope you like those cards. Okay, just a couple more things we're pulling out of this box. Sold MLB 21. That is my personal inventory code that I made so I know which lots I'm shipping out. That's this lot right here. That is 16 MLB patch cards. That sold at auction for $34 plus shipping. And I think that's it for this box, so we'll go ahead and put that one back. Okay, next sale is a ceiling fan right up here by a home decorators collection well if i can get it out of here i picked this up at a garage sale last weekend um it was with those patio chairs and other odds and ends that i bought where i paid 50 for everything so i've probably got i don't know 15 dollars into this something like that that's all for 59.99 plus shipping next order has two things first is up here in e1 it is this lot of men in black toys there's a total of five of them these were not really worth listing individually, so I just did one group lot. Uh, those sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the same buyer got another Men in Black toy right here. Oh, wait, is this it? It's Mikey or Edward? Um, yeah, Mikey. You got Mikey uh, for $17.99 plus shipping. I'll just um, put both of those in the same box form and refund him the difference in the shipping cost. And those toys are going out to viewer named Jake. Jake, thank you for the business. I hope you like those toys. Okay, next couple of sales are some media that I bought. Let's see. First is on E2. It is this lot of, I think there's like 15 of them. These realistic super tapes. Uh, 16. And I just picked these up over the weekend as part of a bulk buy. These sold for $49.99 free shipping. And the next thing of media is up on E1. Let's see, I believe it is this box right here. Yeah, these are all VHS-C tapes. 
mostly max sale. I think there's some Fuji film. Um, this lot sold for $34.99 free shipping. Next thing's a video game down here in B51. It is Xbox One Torment Tides of Numenera. I'm probably mispronouncing that. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. And viewer named Tyler got that game. Tyler, thank you so much for the support. Okay, next thing is something I've had for quite some time. It's an old inventory code, C5, so it is probably down here, I believe. It's in this black box. Let's open it up and see. Yep, this is a Gardenia Freshwater Pearl Necklace. And to be honest with you guys, I don't remember where I bought this, but I don't think I paid a lot of money for it. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in C32. It is a Pokemon plush. I had a number of Pokemon plush toys from that eBay store buyout. This one is Eevee. I think that's right. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping going out to viewers Tony and Natalie. Tony and Natalie, thank you guys both so much for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next sale is a pretty cool one. I just recently bought a ton of cassette tapes and I had a bunch of Selena ones that I listed individually and one buyer got all of them. First is here an F42. This is Selena Anthology. Next we're going to A31. Sorry, I had these scattered all over the place because I wanted to make sure when they sold, I pulled the right ones because if I had like five Selena cassette tapes in the same box, I guarantee you that I'd be shipping the wrong ones. Okay, um, B31 is the next one. Right here, that one's actually new in the plastic. Next is C42, and there's one in C31 as well that we'll go ahead and pull. So we've got this one, then down here we've got this one, and I think there's one more in F41 we're going to go get. Right there. Same buyer got all six of these for $129.94, free shipping. Viewers Angelica and Alberto got those for their father, so guys, thank you so much for the support. Really hope your dad likes those tapes. Next order is two X-Men toys. First is on B2. It is this Civilian Wolverine Projectors. And buyer reached out, asked me if I would do $28 plus shipping for the pair. I said, okay. So th the way we did it is I just sent an offer for $10 plus shipping on this one. And then they paid full price for this one, the Beast Projector. Uh, and this one was $17.99 plus shipping. And I'll also combine them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Next thing is a tripod. Let's see, right here on C2. Got this in that eBay store buyout. My brain is Geekodo or something. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing that sold, I don't have an inventory code for it or like where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's this right here. Let's see here. I think this is a Telex brand. Yeah, Telex BTR200. Basically, I think this thing is for um, either like camera work or something. It is a four channel wireless comm base. I had to read my title. I've had this for quite some time. I got it with that big um, video buy about a year ago. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Okay, next we're going to A31. Sold a lot of cards. This is MLB 11. These are 20 autograph cards. Those sold at auction for $42 plus shipping. Pulling some more cards. Let's see, F41. Right back in here. It is MLB 22. That's 20. Uh, patch cards, those sold for $16.30 plus shipping. Next lot of cards is an A41. This is MLB 25. This is also 20 autograph cards. Those sold at auction for $36 plus shipping. Going out to viewer named Kendra. Kendra says, hi John, excited that you are listing more baseball cards. Hopefully this will be the first of many purchases. Love the YouTube videos, super entertaining and informative. Keep up the great content. Thanks, Kendra. Kendra, thank you so much for the support and thanks for the kind words. It's Thursday morning, I have 18 eBay orders to ship out, but first I've got some viewer questions to answer. First is from Shane. Hi John, I really enjoy watching your videos and learn a lot from them. I was curious how you went about shipping your 25 card sports card lots. Do you just put them in a team bag with a bubble mailer or use any top loaders? Thanks in advance. That is a really good question, Shane. So what I did was I put them in a team bag and then I would take some bubble wrap and bubble wrap the team bag. Then what I would do is put them in a little six by four by four box. And believe it or not, they would still come in at like 
three or four ounces, something like that. They still shipped at the cheapest first class option. So that's the way I liked doing it. And I thought that protected it pretty well. I also put like an extra piece of bubble wrap in the box so that it didn't really move around or anything like that. So if I'm just shipping a single card, I will put it um, between two pieces of cardboard with some painter's tape and then I'll put it in the poly, uh, poly mailer. But with those team bags, that's how I was shipping those. Okay, next is from 902 Vlogs. Recently started picking up baseball gloves because of your videos. What are the brands to watch out for? Is Rawlings any good? Yeah, Rawlings is a good brand of glove. Easton makes pretty good gloves. Louisville Slugger is known for their bats, but they make some good gloves. Wilson is also a really good name brand. Um, but with every single glove maker, they have a really low-end cheap glove, and then they have a super high-end expensive glove. So with Rawlings, the Heart of the High Gold Glove is like their high-end glove. And then with Wilson, the A2000, those are like the high-end gloves. So it just depends on what you find. Most gloves that I see at garage sales for a dollar, two dollars, they might be worth 15 to 20 or so on eBay. What I've started doing with gloves is if I don't think I can get 20 or more for it, I just set it aside in a box. And then around like February, like early March, I do an auction. I did that for two big lots this year. I want to say it was like late February, I did two auction lots for like 15, 20 gloves each. Started both of them at a dollar. And they both brought like $150 plus shipping or something like that. So I thought that was the way to go with those instead of trying to do onesie twosie, you know. $10, $12 gloves, whatever. I just did it all in one shot and I averaged about $10 or $12 a glove. So I was really happy with that. But yeah, definitely keep an eye out for baseball gloves. You see them all the time and they do sell. I think I made a video specifically about baseball gloves and what to look for. And I will put a link down below in the description for that if you want to check it out. If you guys have questions for me, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video. All right, time to ship orders. The first few things I pulled from my storage unit. Let's see, I sold these spark plugs for $7.50 free shipping. I only got like a quarter in these. I bought a bunch of these last year, uh, clearance down. And the same buyer got this Abercrombie vest and these little uh, Hillman bulbs. They bought the pair for $17.50 plus shipping. The buyer didn't say they're a viewer of the channel, but Dylan, if you're watching this, thanks so much for the support. Other thing I'm shipping out is right here. This is the Pampered Chef Ultimate Mandolin. You guys educated me on this, said that it slices vegetables. I honestly had no idea. I got it at a garage sale two weeks ago. I paid $10 for it, and it is going to Jane for $30 free shipping. Jane reached out via email, so that's a sale outside of eBay. Jane, thank you so much for the business. Next thing I'm shipping out is a pair of golf shoes right down here. Got these in a state sale last weekend for $3 and gave them a little bath, cleaned them up, they cleaned up pretty nice. Brand new, these things go for like over $200. So with them being used and having like somebody's initials embroidered, I knew that would hurt the value. I listed them for $80 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $50 plus shipping and I accepted. Next order is three lots of autograph cards. First is an E41. Let's see, it is MLB 24, this slot right here. Next is up in E32, it is NFL 13, that one right there. And the last one is over here in D41, this is MLB 23. Those are all my inventory codes, so I wouldn't get them mixed up. I did auctions with all three of these, starting at a dollar each. Same buyer got all three for 135.51. Plus shipping. I've been running a lot of auctions with the autograph cards, the patch cards, and I had one buyer win like seven or eight auctions totaling about $300. And they never paid. I messaged them. They never responded. And I had to open up a case against them. And the way that works is I always get my timing mixed up, but I think it takes like, I think you have to wait two days, then you can open up a case. And I have it set up for automatic. Uh, so it automatically opens up a case against them then I think it gives them four days to pay after that. And if they don't pay, it closes the case and you get your value, final value fee back. Because the way eBay works is when you sell an item, they take their money right away. They take their cut, even though you don't get paid. So to get that cut back, you have to go through the proper channels and do all that. It's a big headache. It sucks. I hate that part of it. Um, because with buy it now, you never have to worry. You can just set it and make sure that they pay out right away. But with auctions, that's just a part of it. You know, sometimes they don't pay. And it's, you know, it doesn't happen that often. I'd say maybe 5%, 10%, something like that. But yeah, now I've just got to relist all those and go through the whole process again. But I made sure I blocked that buyer. All right, so some more cards over here in C4. 
It's two lots of reds cards. I think they're back here. I think it's both of these right here. 1963 and 1964. Um, one lot has 12 cards. One lot has 14. Also did an auction with these. They sold for $48.50 plus shipping. Next thing is a cassette tape. Down here an F42. The Home Alone 2 soundtrack. That sold for $13.99 for shipping. And it's going out to your name, Brandon. Brandon, thank you so much for the support. Next thing is in C42. It is a lot of blank cassette tapes. There are some TDK and some Maxell. These sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next thing is a video game in A21. Simpsons Road Rage for Xbox. That sold for $12.99 free shipping. Okay, next thing I'm shipping out is two lots of cassette tapes. They're going to the same buyer. First is in B1. I think it is this big box right up here. This is a lot of 100 pop cassettes. There's some soundtracks in there, various things. Those sold for $49.99 free shipping. And the same buyer saw my other lot of 70 pop tapes. Let's see. Right here on E4. And I think I had them listed for like $35 free shipping. That for me $25 free shipping and I accepted. And since these will go media mail, they really shouldn't cost me that much to ship. Next thing going out is a video game up here in 821. This one right here, The Darkness for Xbox 360, that sold for $12.99 for shipping. I sent out an offer for this Happy Meal Girl doll. I got this like six months ago on a bulk buy. The box had some damage, so not in excellent shape. I think I had it listed for around $40. Sent out an offer of $18 plus shipping and the watcher accepted. Sold two Alex Kirloff cards autograph one of them is an a3 he is the top prospect for the minnesota twins i think they just called him up too that sold for 19.99 free shipping and so did this one over here kept them in different boxes that way i didn't get them confused even though you know they almost look identical they're just a little bit different the signatures are uh that one sold for the same price 19.99 free shipping also in c4 i sold a Paul Goldschmidt card right here, Topps Tribute, uh, patch card numbered 7 of 10. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. Next, we're going to F32, and I sold a lot of NBA cards. There's some autographs, some patches. Uh, those sold at auction for $48 plus shipping. Okay, so a couple more things to pull. Sold a lot of cards over here in C4. It is NFL 15. I think it's these right here. Yeah, this is a lot of 17 patch and autograph cards. I did an auction for. They sold for $27 plus shipping. And the last thing I'm shipping out is an F41. This is something I got in the eBay store buyout. It is Organic Manuka Skin Soothing Cream. New in the plastic. That sold for $19.99 for shipping. It's Friday afternoon. I'm back from the garage sales. And I have 24 eBay items to ship out. Let's see, first is going to be here in A3, some cards that I sold. Neighbors are making all kinds of noise. I'm not going to have to deal with that much longer. Um, all right, one buyer bought two lots of cards, NFL 19 and NFL 18. These are two auctions that I did. I started both at a dollar. It's autograph cards, patch cards. Um, total selling price for the pair was $100 plus shipping. Next is down here in A5. Let's see, it is this Hermione Granger figure. Um, I've only got about $3 into this. That's sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I sold a hat. Let's see, right here, the Cincinnati Bearcat hat. I got this, you know, like maybe three, four months ago. I've only got a couple dollars into that. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an Xbox game right up here. Let's see, Xbox 360 Condemned. Criminal Origins, that sold for $11.99 free shipping. Sold a card in C4. I have a feeling I sold more than one, so we'll just go ahead and pull this. Let's see, I sold the Alex Bregman autograph card. Right here, a really cool clear card. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Sorry about the noise, guys. They're making all kinds of racket over there. I went ahead and closed my door, so hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter. Okay, next is, let's see here, a David Ortiz card PSA 9. 
Um, I don't think that's his rookie card. I think that's maybe like his first Bowman. It's a Bowman International. Uh, that sold at auction for $44.26 plus shipping. Then I sold an Aaron Judge. Let's see, PSA 9. These are my personal collection, by the way. These aren't from that uh, big card buy. Uh, that one sold for $52 plus shipping. And that one's going to viewer named John. Two more cards I sold in here. Uh, John Elway, PSA 8. That's his rookie card. That sold for $153.50 plus shipping. Then a Ronald Acuna. Oh, one of them sticking to it. There you go. Ronald Acuna, uh, Bowman Prospects, PSA 9. That sold for $152.50 plus shipping. Could be wrong, but I think uh, the only viewer that bought those cards was John that bought this Aaron Judge card. So, John, thank you for the support. I really hope you like the card. Next thing is a big lot of blank VHS tapes right down here. Total of 29 of these, and they sold for $59.99 free shipping. Next sale is a pretty cool one. It is way up here. This is a vintage sleeping bag with a bunch of airlines advertised on it. I got this in a bulk buy maybe two, three months ago, something like that. It was really hard to find a value on this thing. I saw no comps on eBay. I had to look on WorthPoint, and I saw sold prices between $30 and $300. So I priced this super high, like, I don't know, $200, something like that. Somebody sent me an offer of $40 plus shipping, and I went ahead and accepted, and it's going out to your name, Dan. Correction, $45 plus shipping. Dan, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like that sleeping bag. Next thing's in C42. It is this big lot of dog treats. These are part of that eBay store buyout. There's a total of eight of them, and they sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next thing are some Jurassic Park stickers. I've been selling a handful of these. Also something that I got from that eBay store buyout. I've been doing lots of two, and they sold for $13.99 free shipping going out to your name, Tyler. Tyler, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Okay, next we're going right next to the stickers in C32. I sold this Hulk figure. This is the Marvel Legends Grey Hulk Galactus series. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping going out to viewers Eric and Richard. Eric and Richard, thank you both so much for the support. Next thing's down in A5. It's this box right here. This is a big lot of classic rock CDs. I got these from Fred and Piqua maybe about a month ago. I decided to do an auction with these. There are some really good titles in here though. James Gang, Beatles, Bad Company. Um, these sold at auction for $69.34 plus shipping going out to viewer named Nick. So see these are going out to viewer named Nick. He says, John, hope you're having a great day. I don't know why I'm so happy about this buy, but I am. When I was a kid, I had no money for CDs, and there was a bunch in this lot I always wanted. If you can shout out my boys Jack and Fritz and my special lady Midge, I would appreciate it. Nick, Jack, Fritz, and Midge, thank you all so much for the support. Sold some more cards. Let's see. It's in C4. It is a lot of Trevor Story rookie cards. These right here, there's a total of 14 of them. Sold them in auction for $57 plus shipping, going out to viewer named James. James says, I am a viewer, been wanting to support your channel. Can you shout out my eBay store, Kyle's Collection, with a K? Also, I would love some stickers. James, thank you for your support. Happy to shout out your store, and I'll definitely send some stickers your way. Okay, also in C4, I sold some Alex Bregman rookie cards. These right here is a total of 13 of them. Those sold for $13.50 plus shipping. And I sold some Corey Seager Ricky cards. These right here, uh, that's a total of 24 of them. Those sold for $91 plus shipping. Coming back to A3, and I sold some Francisco Lindor cards. It is these two right here, both rookie cards, two different variations of it. Those sold at auction for $35 plus shipping. Next thing I'm shipping is right here on this B3 shelf. This is a Lion King mask ornament. My wife actually found this at an estate sale we were at. We paid $3 for it. It sold for $12 plus shipping. And it is going to have to be named Tammy. Tammy, thank you so much for the support. Next thing is a real reel. And I want to say it is this one right here. Yeah. Saber Dance. Um, I think I had this listed for like $30 or $40 only because it's new in the plastic and I cannot find any comp whatsoever. So I just priced it high and put on best offer. I've had it listed for like six months. Somebody sent me an offer of $10 plus shipping, and I accepted. And your name Chris bought this. Chris, thank you so much for the business. Next thing is a coffee mug up here in A2. I believe it is this one right here. Uh, it's a Polish mug. has a really cool design to it. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is up here in this box. 
This is a Flambo tackle box. I've got a bunch of these as I got as part of a book, but I've got less than a dollar in each one. This one sold for $17.99 free shipping. All right, the last two things I have to ship are over to my storage unit, so let's run over there and grab them. First thing's an H4. It is a pair of trunks right here. My buddy Mike actually gave these to me to sell, so Mike, thank you for that. These sell for $24.99 plus shipping. And it looks like the next thing is an H4 as well. This fishing hat, that sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And that's going on to viewers of Mike and Alana. Mike and Alana, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like the hat. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.